Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Skyrim. Today we continue on with Falskar, and yes, I still have hay fever. God, it sucks. So anyway, last episode we finally arrived in Falskar. We have yet to explore any of it. Who the hell is that? That's the guy we came with. Good work, brain. Anyway, so before we carry on, I want to mention a couple of mods that I have that are actually going to impact the gameplay here. Oh my god, there's a troll. Piss off. Jesus, right, let's take him out before he bits the shit out of a horse. And yes, I have got Brittany back, because the other guy just freaking died. Suck it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was brutal. You know what? That guy deserves a teabagging after that. That was amazing. So yeah, anyway, like I said, I've got a few mods that are going to affect Falskar a fair bit, but uh, you're still going to get pretty much the same experience. But I feel like it's going to enhance it. For example, I have a mod called Tougher Traps. Well, what that means is pretty much any trap in any dungeon is going to one-shot me. I feel like that enhances the gameplay a bit, because that way I actually have to avoid the traps. I feel like it makes dungeons a hell of a lot more interesting. So bear that in mind, if you see me get one-shot by a trap, it's not Falskar doing that, it's my mod. Uh, plus, I also have a mod called Immersive Creatures, and that's going to make more mods to spawn, because I'm pretty damn sure it should work, even though this is a new land, because it worked in Worms too. So, you know, again, better am I. It also have custom textures and stuff like that, so not all of the buildings are going to look exactly like they would normally. For example, this sort of store here, that's going to be affected by one of my texture mods. Again, every single mod I'm using is going to be in the video description. Anyway, now it's all said and done, let's continue on. And we are in Amber Creek, our destination, and I see, like, one guard here. Like, what the hell? Hello? Where is everybody? It's like a freaking ghost town. And we're going into the Balvador Manor? Something like that, I suck at pronouncing names. For now, just enjoy being young. If you say so. Do not fret, Milhan. You will grow up to be a great warrior. I am sure of it. But only if I keep practicing. I'll go do that right now. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, kids. Gotta hate children, especially in Skyrim. Holy crap, they suck. Right, where'd that guy go? Holy crap! Slow down, dude! Jesus, what's this? Oh, it's like a uh, blades armor, and we can't loot it. Damn it. They know my thieving ways. Greetings. What's up, y'all? Okay, what options do we have here? Apparently, quite a few of them. Uh, let's go with someone called me the Traveler. What does it mean? A very long time ago, a man claimed to have been spoken to directly by the guards themselves. They foretold a prophecy of sorts. The guards told him that they who arrived through the shimmering wall marked the start of the worst, and that they were deemed the Traveler. This tale spread and eventually became somewhat of a legend in Falskar. However, nothing ever happened, and the gate in Muzuvdan remained dormant. Until now. You have come through from Skyrim. What does that mean? Are you the brave soul the man spoke of? Damn right I am. If so, what does that mean? Is about to happen. The land has already been riddled with war and death. We can't take much more of it. Well, you won't like me much then, because war and death follows me. We found Makes. He says the bandits are working for Yungvar. What? what led him to believe that? Such a statement cannot be taken lightly. He overheard them talking. They got orders from Yungvar to capture him. This. This is bad news. It could very well mean the start of another war. Thank you for bringing me this information. Please, accept this token of my appreciation. I hate to ask more of you. You have already saved one of my people. But I don't have much choice. Long ago, when there was war between my family and the Yunvaldirs, there was a group of monks that served as our wise men and court wizards. They have since retired to a simpler life, but their roots are still there. They may know what Ingvar is up to. Please, go to Balen Priory, to the southwest, and talk to Brother Thorlo. See if he knows anything. Okay, so we gotta go to Balen Priory. Why do I feel like that's a reference to Wayndon Priory from Oblivion? By the way, if you haven't played Oblivion, I know there's a lot of people that only played Skyrim 
holy shit, go play Oblivion, but, you know, do it on PC, because, uh, that game is, like, the most amazing broken pile of crap. Like, it's awesome, but it's so damn broken. Like, I installed, like, 200 mods for that game to fix, like, the combat and shit, because, uh, it's a really great game, but it's broken as hell, like I say. Please go play it if you have never played it. You are really missing out. Sure. What's going on here? We just have to take out the back wall and expand the fields to the south. Getting more livestock would be great. Plus, Farina and Willard love playing with the ones we already have. Then it's settled. We'll just have to save up for it. Hopefully this harvest goes well and we can make a good amount of it. Well, alright then. I guess that's a side quest or something, or maybe it's just, you know, dialogue to add flavor, because, uh... That was one of my criticisms of both Wormstooth and Helgen Reborn, both of which, by the way, I have Let's Played on the channel. Because, uh, there were so many NPCs in that game that just didn't have any dialogue whatsoever, so that might be a quest, or like I say, it might just be there for flavor, and either way, I like it. I like when NPCs actually talk to each other, and you, you know, when they're not annoying as hell like they are in regular Skyrim. What's up with this? There's a signpost. Awesome. Wait a minute, is that a guard? Oh, guts. Jesus Christ, the horse is so goddamn hard to control. It's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, like, I really like, uh, you know, all the little details. By the way, there's one criticism I do have of this month so far. It's that all of the NPCs, at least the ones we've met at thus far, seem to have, like, really basic faces. You know, kind of the default things when you create a new character, the way they just look normally. Kind of lazy, what can I say? I wish they put a bit more effort in to make them look a bit more unique. Maybe the other ones do, I don't know, but, uh, yeah. Thus far, they kind of all look the same to me. What the hell is this? Is this like a way shrine or something? Like the ones from Oblivion again. It looks like they've taken quite a lot of, uh, you know, inspiration from Oblivion. And they have sort of monk people. Okay then, Hello. and you're eating breads. Hello. Time. Okay, they don't really say anything, but that's okay. Oh, what's up, baby? baby God, <laughs> We're gonna say, when I see an attractive female, even pixelated, you've got to introduce yourself. Yeah, that's creepy. And hey, there's our guy. What's up, buddy? Oh, da -da -da. where are you going? Apparently he knew I was coming. Safe. Okay, what options do we have here? Hey, you know what, screw it. I have no interest in getting back to Skyrim. Do you know anything about the increased bandit activity? Not really. I know that a growing problem are all over Falska, but it's nothing else. Wow, useless. Get out of my sights. The young Vosman, he's paying then. Come to Amber Creek with us. Do it. I couldn't. Do it now. Unless... Ingvar trying to start another war. Regardless, we cannot help. 700 years ago, Shore saved our ancestors so that we could flourish in this land and absorb its knowledge, not tear it apart with war. We will not help instigate another one with the Orvaldas. Of course, we are so loyal to the Borvaldas. If it comes to it, we will fight by Kigagnar's side until victory or Sovngarde takes us. You are one useless son of a bitch, I want you to know that. Who built the portal in Mizzabthand? We aren't really sure. Its location would obviously suggest that the Dwemer people built it. But there is little evidence to prove it. We've seen no signs of this kind of technology in other Dwemer ruins. So, we can't do much beyond speculate. The scholars in Vizemonstadt were potentially studying it. But none of the research made it out. So we'd have to start from scratch. Due to the continuous conflict in the land, Researching the portal further simply hasn't been something we focused on yet. Perhaps someday, though. Gonna hate you! I asked him three questions and pretty much all of them. Things. He's like, I don't know, man. Why the hell did I even come to you? Huh? You're useless. Oh, Who the hell are you? Me. What do you do around here? Thought. Nothing, I'm guessing. I help Brother Thorlo tend to the Priory and keep order in our pursuit of knowledge. Though, I can't say I've done that job very well recently. <laughs> I love the way the guy in the background is just chillaxing. What do you mean? There used to be another prior here, Brother Vernon. While we wanted to research slowly and cautiously, he wanted to rush through using whatever magical items we obtained without restraint. On top of that, he wished to learn anything he could about magic, regardless of its source. His worst vice was that of necromancy. His ways finally caught with him, and he accidentally harmed two other priors. We expelled him immediately from the monastery, and stripped him of his status as a prior. We sent him on his way, letting him grab only a few things from his room. However, we know there was more. 
We are all convinced that Brother Vernon had some sort of a lair or refuge around the Priory. It's probably a place where he hid things and conducted a lot of his unorthodox research. But we have been unable to find it. Intriguing the plot thickens, I can find his stuff for you and then I'll steal it. Really? You would do that for us? Thank you. We know he hid somewhere on the grounds, just not where. You can ask around if you have to. Some of the other priors may know something of use. Please, bring me anything of interest that you find. No, I already told you I'm gonna Maybe steal it. Like, why would I help you? Jesus. Apparently no one around here knows anything. Like, they don't know where he is. They don't know where he went. They don't know where he was hiding. They don't know what his experiments were. And they don't know where the hell he was doing them. Like, holy crap. And no, 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 I you don't walk off. Journey. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Vernon may have hidden his Wherever things? Wherever it was, I doubt it was inside of the Priory. They aren't any good places. He would want plenty of space to try things. Sexy things? Okay, you told Be me basically nothing there. besides don't go in the Priory, but I'm probably gonna do that Hello. anyway. What do you know? Tell me! Well, he liked to go for walks at night. I'm not really sure when he found the time to sleep. Sure seemed odd at the time. <clears throat> Most intriguing, sir. So again, it sounds he like he's said. probably sleeping somewhere else, so he's probably got some kind of a base around here. My assumption would be it's probably gonna be like a trapdoor randomly in the ground or something. I ain't got a goddamn clue. I don't know where else you can have it where it wouldn't really be kind of obvious, like a cave entrance or something. But maybe it really is that simple, I don't know. Where's the chicken and wife gone? I want to interrogate her. What do you know? I'm afraid not. He liked to test out various magics, so wherever it was, it would be somewhere that we couldn't hear his trials. A game where the hint says probably not going to be in the hey, Priory, but uh, I'm going to need more to go on than that. Like, holy shits. It's a big world out there. There you are. What the hell are you doing? What do you know? He usually spent time around a pond during the day. I'd assume wherever he hid, it would be easy accessible. He was not a man of patience. He's not the only one. Like, holy I shit. Probably... But finally, we actually got a clue. The pond. What the hell are you doing? God, NPCs get on chairs very strangely in this game. Right, anyways, check upstairs. See if we can actually see if he stuffed this big. Because they mentioned when he cleared out that he grabbed some of these things. So, uh, it'd be really cool if there was actually some, like, noticeable missing stuff in here. Not that you'd really know, because I wouldn't know what's here in the first place. And apparently it's just a shitload of beds and, like, nothing else. Well, alright then. I guess he robbed everyone his way out. Right, Scott said, we'll check around the pond. I ain't gonna spend too long on this. We can always come back to it at a later time, but, uh... I would like to find this, because if there's like really cool like magical stuff or something there, that could be awesome, but uh, maybe it's going to be a complete letdown, I have no idea. So um, I think it's going to be like a trapdoor or something like in the pond itself, but uh, that might be a little too easy, I don't know. Like I said, I ain't going to spend too long on this, because uh, I can imagine it be very boring me walking around looking at the ground, but uh, like I said, I'll check off camera or something if I don't find it in a reasonable length of time. Maybe it's over here. Fox, what do you know? Lead me to the booty. Gotta have this booty, man. I really want some good shit out of this mods. An iron ore. Okay. So maybe he's mining nearby. Genius. Okay, I don't see jack shits. Hello? Wait a minute. Was that like a secret door or something in the back? Oh no, it's a pattern on the wall. Jesus Christ, I need glasses. Okay. Like I said, I don't see shit around here. I'm gonna check a little bit over in this direction because we haven't really checked to the left of the pond. But again, if there's not a trap door, you'd think it's like a cave entrance or something. Because they did pretty much all imply that it would be on the grounds and nearby and kind of around the pond, but, uh, I really don't see jack shit around here. Like, I really, really don't. Right, screw it. Anyway, I guess we're going back to Amber Creek, so I will see you when we get there. Forgive me. <laughs> I just ran that guy on my horse, and he's like, forgive me. Yes, you're right, it's totally your fault, not mine. I just noticed he's got a name, it's not a generic guard. Damn it, he doesn't really speak. By ghosts, and anyone who goes in there is never seen again. Uh, um, not that I believe in that nonsense. Citizen. Ah, interesting. So there's going to be a haunted lighthouse around here somewhere. Intriguing. See, that's what I like, man. Even though the guy doesn't really have a sort of back and forth dialogue that you can actually pick options in, he does say some interesting stuff. I give the major props to that, but again, pretty much every NPC in this mod so far has just a generic face. I really feel like they should do something about it, because they all look the same. What the hell? By the divine. Micaias, is that you? I was being held in Brittle Run Cave, but the guard and someone else found me and got me out. Well, by all means, go inside. 
Have a drink and get some rest. Damn, that's the guy we saved. Apparently he took a hell of a long time to get back. <laughs> why didn't you just take a ride on my horse, dude, like Jesus? Oh, God. And now I can see why you didn't take a ride on my horse. Because apparently I keep getting stuck on the goddamn buildings. Holy crap, I am terrible at riding horses in this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't bear, stop ramming me. Okay, th what what are you doing here, y'all? Dude, are you going to go in the door or not? I guess not. And now he's going in the door. God damn it. Skyrim, stop being buggy. Jesus. God, I hope that didn't just break the quest, because uh, that might have bugged out his dialogue or something. Please work. Okay. Like this hay? He says you're inside the Vastal, sir. He also says the monks know nothing and won't help us unless Youngvar directly instigates the war. Unless he instigates war. Yes. He sent men to kidnap and interrogate one of our people. <laughs> and he blankets the land with his mercenaries. Is that not a declaration of war? Far off Very the well. Of Skyrim, there is we a shall a work without their help. The land and its people. For now. This is the fable of the I need war. you to do something else for me. You Bandits have overrun the docks and have cut off mind. trade with Skyrim. Please, go to the docks you and kill all the bandits. Then, talk to Hendrik. He runs the trade store there. Ask him if he learned anything helpful while the bandits were there. Okay, kill some more bandits apparently. Can do. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end it here. I'll go check off screen, see if I can find out the yes. entrance to that uh, monk sort of, you know, magical workshop. And I'll bring you back in next episode when I actually find a damn thing. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like. And I'll see you guys next time. For more Fausca. Beware, beware, the dragonborn come.